right, what are we doing? So we're gonna ask some kids, or ask people in general, the legacy of this play space. This play space was so integral in, in building community. The play space had actual structures that would allow folks to enjoy each other. Now we gotta rent something like this. Uh, my name is Nachlin Trung. I graduated from Franklin High School in 2021. I've lived at Mount Baker Village since 2009 until now. The park had been there for as long as I can remember, and it's like located right outside my building. I don't know, it was like a big round park with a lot of wood chip area. It was just a, like a normal big park. Uh, every day there are just like little kids running around playing, you know, different games such as like, you know, hide and seek and capture the flag. And they're just like playing, running up the slides and, you know, running around in the wood chip ground. Going outside, playing on the park. That's how I met most of my close friendships. It's the park. It like had a bridge with holes in it and it had like one slide that is like a circle and one that and two slides mixed together that go straight but there was no swings. We played like a little bit of everything. We played hide and seek tag all over Mount Baker Village and you know often hiding in the bushes or the stair stairwells and you know at the park there are like kids from all different ages you know from because Mount Baker had like so many families kids like five years old all the way to like high schoolers. It used to make us want to go outside more and like hang out and play. But now since there's no parks, it's just mostly like little kids running around in the streets, which kind of isn't really safe. I don't exactly remember when I started playing Ultimate Frisbee, but I do know it's because the older kids at Mount Breaker Village played and they had experience playing for Franklin High School and Washington Middle School. And well, because they had experience, they would often uh, bring out a disc and toss it around to each other. They're like in high, like maybe a freshman year in high school and they're just throwing a lot. They convinced my sister to start playing and eventually got me to start playing. You know, even like little kids like Jackie's younger brother, uh, Paul and kids his age, you know, they were like five or six at the time and they all eventually learned to like throw a Frisbee. Throwing a Frisbee back and forth became like a staple game at the park. My first time throwing a frisbee was in this park. Like, if it weren't for Jennifer, Vin, and David, I don't know if you remember them, but like they brought frisbee to us, and then we would come out here and play every single day together. And I think that's how we got kind of tight. It just led to me like going to Worlds, like playing for Franklin, playing for Washington. I won a championship in seventh grade at Aki Karosi, and then now I play for Franklin. Tell, tell us about the accolades and, the, and your ultimate frisbee. Like I said, I played at Washington, and then I went on to Franklin, and then I played for this team called uh, like Blossom, Insidious. It's all part of like this YCC team. Uh, YCC is like a youth club championship where you travel to Minnesota and you play against other states. And then we got first place like twice, and then our last year we got second place. And then I also joined a club for this summer to go to like a national. We played pretty bad, we got like ninth, but I had fun playing and traveling with all my new teammates. Ultimate Frisbee has and continues to make a huge impact in our lives. First, it gave us a connection to each other. Um, then it gave us a connection to the broader community and beyond. If it wasn't for the park, I don't know how we would have found Ultimate Frisbee. I don't know. I feel like I feel like they really just like kind of destroyed our childhood. Like I would really want to bring that back. A zip line, a zip line. swings. Mm -hmm. I would like to have like a like a park, you know, and then like a, a little space for people to like to run around, so the little kids here can like you know find what they like to do and connect with each other. A lot of slides and uh, a little castle thing. 
like just kind of move this house somewhere else, <laughs> put this park back where it was. Because I think it was a space for me when I was a kid and I, I kind of didn't want them to destroy it for like kids growing up here still. So I kind of want that back for them as well. Yeah.